Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how I created this green look using a super inexpensive palette. But before I go in with any eyeshadow I first always prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre and I'm using a Sigma Beauty P84 brush to apply this. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video where I also used a $3 palette I will make sure to link it down in the description bar. Uh, that video is more of a softer look and this one is more of a, well it's not super dramatic but obviously I'm using green eyeshadow so for some people this might not be like an everyday look. Um, but yeah, this is the palette I'm gonna use. It's by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's one of their bite-sized palettes. Amazing quality. Um, so far I've been really impressed by these and they're only $3. I mean, so inexpensive. So I started with this light uh, greenish color, kind of like a grass green shade. I'm gonna start blending this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner using a Sigma Beauty E40 brush. Now I created a brush kit together with Sigma Beauty which has this brush inside of it and also the P84 brush which I use to apply my paint pot. I have the link to where you can get my kit in the description bar in case you're curious. So I just blend this color all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. I went back a few times with this color to really build up the color payoff. Now if I would compare this palette with the previous video I filmed using also the same palette but a different color. I think this one was a little bit harder to blend out. With this color I didn't really have a problem but I'm now going in with this darker green and I found it a little bit hard to blend out. This is a common thing with green shades like this, like a lot of brands kind of struggle with getting the performance of a shade like that to work well. I don't know why that is with green eyeshadow, I don't know. But I had to go back in a few times to kind of make it more soft and blend it out. Um, I'm using a E25 brush from Sigma which is also included in my brush kit. And I just packed it on in the outer V and then with whatever was left on my brush I'm blending it more towards the middle part of my crease. Now I'm going back in with the other color with the E40 brush and blending a little bit more of that around the corners because I just found that it just didn't really blend how I wanted it to be so to kind of make the edges of the shade a bit more smooth I went back in with this color to make everything look more blended out. So yes I do love the e.l.f. cosmetics bite size palettes but this shade in particular that dark green wasn't the best. So now I'm going to use my finger to apply this golden color which is super pigmented. Absolutely love it. I don't have anything negative to say about it. I'm using my finger but you can also use a brush with some setting spray on it and this is going to give it more of a metallic finish. I prefer using my finger because I feel like it just blends a little bit more softer into the skin but of course you can do the way you want it to do. It depends on what kind of finish you want it to have. Also using your finger is going to make, I think it does give great pigmentation but a little bit less than when you use a wet brush. Now I'm going to use this liquid eyeshadow from e.l.f. Cosmetics which I was so excited to use because I really hoped these would be like dupes for the Stila Cosmetics liquid eyeshadows. Now when I swatched them on my arm they looked incredible but once I started applying it on the eyelid I noticed that it was not working well. I just noticed that the skin underneath the eyeshadow was showing. It just got so messy so I decided to go in with this eyeshadow from NYX Cosmetics which has the same color as the one uh, from the liquid eyeshadow. So I decided to use that instead to kind of try to fix what I did. Um, so yeah, that was really a disappointment because the liquid eyeshadows from e.l.f. are really inexpensive and they are incredible on the arm when you swatch them, but on the eyelid they just didn't work for me. Maybe I did something wrong. If you guys have any tips, definitely let me know. I would definitely like to give them another chance if I applied them incorrectly. Um, but just let me know if you know how to work with them. I just I just found it really weird. This never happens when I use these Stila Cosmetics liquid eyeshadows. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so now I'm using the dark green again. I'm using a flat definer brush, uh, which also comes in the Sigma Beauty brush kit. I created with them um, and I'm using that above the lash line to create a winged liner. I also sprayed a little bit of setting spray. Um, this made the green eyeshadow a bit darker because I really wanted this line to stand out. But I didn't want it to go in with like a black jaw eyeliner. I wanted to use the green in the palette because I wanted to use this palette as much as possible to create this eye look that I'm creating today. 
So now again using the flat diviner brush with that same color, use it underneath the lower lash line and then I went in with the green color and blended it underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm using the Sigma Beauty E33 brush and blending my brush back and forth to blend everything out and to make it look really soft and smooth. Then now I'm going back in with this golden color, I'm using a tiny pencil brush from Morphe brushes, applying a little bit of that underneath the lower lash line at the beginning. And then I also went in with this color because I haven't used it yet for this look. And I wanted to make sure to include all the shades in this palette. So I blended a little bit of that right next to the golden shade. And then last but not least, I used a little bit of the dark green color again using a tiny winged liner brush and created a pointy inner corner. I have been doing this with a lot of my recent looks. I really love how that pointy inner corner makes your eyes look more foxy, I absolutely love it. And then I used this pencil from NYX Cosmetics, which is in the color Glitzy Gold. I used it in the waterline to kind of match with the gold on the eyelids. It's a really beautiful palette. Also really nice to use when you're creating more of a softer, brownish golden eye look. Um, that's also really beautiful. I think I've used this pencil like three times before on my channel. Then now I'm curling my lashes. And for my mascara, I'm gonna use one of my current favorites. And this one is the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara. I have a few mascaras, which I absolutely love. One of them is the Givenchy Disturbia Mascara. And I also really love the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. This has been one of my most used mascaras ever, I think. So I'm gonna put this on the upper lashes and of course also on the bottom lashes. And for my fake lashes, I'm gonna use these lashes from Queen Tarsi. I will make sure to put the name in the description bar on where you can get them. And then here you have the finished result. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do another video using the bite size palettes. I also have two other colors left, which I can definitely create a look with if you guys are interested. Also, I will make sure to link the other look I made using one of their palettes in the description bar. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.